Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you a comparison video between EZWP Namecheap Managed Hosting and a normal Namecheap Shared Hosting. So I created a video about this few months ago. You can see this is the title of the video. Uh, speed test Namecheap EZWP versus Shared Hosting. So it was a simple performance test video and um, what I did was to create two identical sites, um, one hosted on EZWP and the other on shared hosting. Well, it was not a cheap shared hosting, but a different shared hosting. And then, uh, you know, showed that, that both the sites are exactly the same. And they did a lot of performance tests using web page test, Google page speed score and um, other web performance uh, measuring websites. I did a lo uh, lot of tests to show you how both the hosting compares to each other and but what I did not show you um, in that video I did not cover was the fundamental difference in terms of features both this hosting offer. So today I'm going to show you exactly what, what is the main difference between both this hosting and because both these hosting are offered by Namecheap and why one hosting is more co costly than the other when um, and what are the feature difference so without further delay let's start and just for your information um, uh, if you are looking to buy a hosting and um, and if you're confused between any of these companies hosting a easy wp site godaddy managed wordpress um, so you can check this hosting comparison table i created and it's available on smarthelpguides.com slash hosting and I do not recommend a single hosting company I just put all the facts here based on uh, my experience my testing and all uh, I have tested all this hosting and you can see the testing duration here and you can uh, just you know take a look at this table so first um, the first comparison is uh, this hosting EZWP is much costly than Namecheap shared hosting so now if you ask me uh, if you will say that um, it's just one dollar more but um, now i'll show you the uh, let's when we compare the technical specifications you'll see um, it's available in two data centers and this easy wp there is no selection about data center and the default location they offer is us so if your customers audience lie um, are from anywhere outside us then there will be some major performance issue while there is a option of free cdn which we will talk later but um, that's a main difference first and um, another the most important difference i want to tell you about is you can see in the plan the hosted domains so it, it means how many websites you can host on this plan so by default with all easy wp plans you can host only one website so it doesn't matter which plan you select you will you can host only one website on that plan so if you want to host another website you will have to buy second plan okay so that makes it much expensive this easy wp compared to shared hosting because uh, just for 280 2.88 dollars you can host three website and for 4.88 you can host unlimited and similarly for 8.88 you can host unlimited okay but with uh, easy wp the starting plan is 3.88 and you get to host only one website so that's 2.88 for three website and 3.88 for only one website and the second plan is 788 again you just get one website which and with this you get unlimited so let's say even with unlimited you get like you can host uh, 10 or 20 websites okay so um, with the fair usage limit so that makes it much more expensive and in terms of disk space also you can see um, overall this hosting is much more costly and so is it worth it is the performance offered by EZWP worth uh, compared to shared hosting how is the performance right so in my testing um, i've tried this and for wordpress website their name cheap shared hosting is i would never recommend it to anyone and in my comparison table also i just um, declared it uh, too slow so disqualified like it's not uh, you cannot even compare it um, every time i have tried um, I, I, even my friend tried it and it was slow as hell 
like it was too slow just you can see there's a visible lag and it was quite an annoying experience so um, yeah definitely there is a major difference in terms of performance your page loading speed and now if we uh, compare the features like um, with ezwp monthly plans available and shade hosting also monthly plans are available and um, trial trial is only available with the ezwp with name cheap shade hosting there is no trial available um, refund policy will be like same testing duration i have tested it um, quite for some time i think for more than a month and sites allowed only one and with that multiple sites are allowed and um, yes the one uh, this is a very important point the custom domain email service okay so with ezwp you get only ezwp dashboard and there is no cpanel with the shared hosting you get a cpanel okay so with cpanel you can create um, your own professional email and forward it to your gmail inbox or use it with um, you know cpanel um, you can watch my tutorial also about it so uh, and for with ezwp you will have to buy Namecheap's private email service. Um, you can see uh, this email option. You will have to buy their professional email business email plan to use uh, use any email with your domain name. So that's a point um, I you should note. And the other point I would um, uh, you should note is the free SSL. Okay. So with the starter plan, um, you do not get any free SSL. With Turbo Plan and Supersonic, you get free SSL. But with Shared Hosting, you get uh, free SSL with all plans. So I will close it. Uh, with uh, you get free SSL for one year. Okay, so for the first year, you get free. I think there is a policy of fifty SSL certificate. So if you select this three, uh, the first plan of two point eight eight uh, Stellar. Um, you can host three website and you will get free certificate for all the three website for one year and after that you will have to purchase uh, SSL certificate but with uh, AZWP if you buy the starter plan there is no SSL certificate absolutely okay so I, um, that's an important point and in terms of backup there is a automated backup with shade hosting but with Namecheap there, you will have to take manual backups only there is no other way around and there is a free CDN um, it is offered by both so and in terms of support well I guess that will be same and uh, in terms of customization and um, how much you can customize your website well, with shade hosting you get to configure every customize everything like you can use Cloudflare but with ECWP well you can use Cloudflare but only their DNS resolution service okay so that's like useless um, there's no point in using it because you cannot use Cloudflare's any other feature like CDN or free SSL so that makes it worthless um, and so that's a con of, for uh, ECWP and that's a pro for shared hosting and um, in terms of uptime i guess uh, both will be same but like it will be very slow shade hosting is very slow uh, compared to ezwp and uh, with ezwp you get a special caching mechanism uh, caching plugin uh, that is made only for ezwp with shade hosting you are free to do anything um, and uh, another point i would like to bring uh, up tell you about is uh, with ezwp you can host only wordpress okay with shared hosting you can host any kind of website it can be a forum it can be wordpress it can be any other cms portal anything okay it can be just a plain uh, php script it can be joomla um, it can be uh, any other kind of website okay so that's a major con and um, that's um, these are some of the important factors but um, you can see and see that in terms of performance you get a lot with ezwp so if i if you just want to host one website okay so i would recommend you to go with ezwp my suggestion would be this and if you have more than a uh, small uh, you have multiple small websites um, my recommend and performance is not a big issue like and your all your audience is from us or uh, then i would recommend you to um, you know you can try the shared hosting for a month 
and um, in terms of price you know first get a monthly plan and see if it works for you and then uh, you know if it works then fine else you can try the other hosting also so they also have trial plans available so and uh, and that's uh, if you can afford this plan this will be a good plan because it is hosted on cloud compared to uh, this popular and the stellar plan so if you can um, i would recommend you to go with this plan the yearly plan is much cheaper so that um, this perf this plan's performance will be much better compared to these two because it is hosted on cloud so you know and and uh, you get free apps so install anything you can also get a dedicated ip with easy wp there is no such thing it is you know, it is made to be very simple it is made to be easy and um, you get ftp access with both and yes another major thing is file manager with easy wp there is no file manager you get only ftp access and access to database via php my admin and um, with shared hosting you get file manager which makes things much easier and smoother and for easy wp you will have to use the ftp feature to access your files directly so that's a major point you should um, you know note and uh, so these are some of the most uh, important point that you should um, you know, note and i hope this will help you in making a decision and why just limit yourself to you know, these two plans um, if you have a different usage you can check this comparison table and see if uh, any other hosting company um, is uh, suits your plan so that's it guys for this video and i will see you in the next video